Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are keeping safe. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to get straight into it. Um, I saw a post by Ryan, um, or post on Boxing Team, where Ryan Garcia said, you know, Tiafima Lopez didn't destroy Lomachenko. He's going around and making out like, you know, he did a job on Lomachenko. Fair enough, he won the fight, but he didn't destroy Lomachenko. A lot of people have messaged me and saying, do you think, Lo do you think um, Lopez is ducking Lomachenko? Lopez beat Lomachenko. But, you know, here's what feel, here's what feel I get. Here's why I think... Here's why I, I, I agree with Garcia a little bit. Because Garcia said that, why isn't, you know, why isn't he rematching... Um, Lopez, here's my feel, and I'm gonna compare it to an. In, I'm gonna compare it to uh, another fight that happened, you know, about ten years ago. Lopez, for me, is kind of a situation where he's kind of. We call it rob the bank, right? He managed to, he managed to do something which nobody expected him to do. And by the way, uh, let me get this out there. Lopez is a very, very good fighter, an excellent fighter. Him and his father are great, and his. I think they're great for boxing. But I've got to say it how it is. I don't think Lom Lo Lopez wants to fight Lomachenko again. I think he feels like he's done... He, he, he managed to get the win. And, he and you know, it was a close fight. He didn't destroy Lomachenko. People make out like, you know, he destroyed him. No, he didn't. That was a close fight. I just feel that Lopez doesn't want that again. He's thinking, let me milk this situation as much as I can. He keeps talking and and criticizing all the other guys that, oh, who did they fight? And look who I fought. And uh, I fought Comey and Lomachenko. And he's milking the situation. And really, for me, what it is really about, I think it's about the payday. Because we now know that, you know, he's also fishing around to see what broadcaster was willing to pay him huge money for the Cambosis fight. And you know what I find funny? Here's why I find strange. Surely the biggest money fight for him would be against Lomachenko. Why wouldn't he be pushing for that? He just beat that guy. That's what makes me think that this, is, this isn't just about fighting the best like he keeps going on about. He keeps going on about Floyd Mayweather and the fact that everybody wants to be like Floyd Mayweather, but nobody wants to do the work that Floyd Mayweather is doing. Well, when Floyd Mayweather beats someone... Right and and by the way, this wasn't contentious because I thought Lopez won, but it was kind of close, right? And it, it, to me, this wasn't close in the sense that the right man got the win. Why wouldn't you want to fight him again? For me, it just feels like Lopez doesn't want to go lay Lomachenko again because deep down they know that that's a tough fight and he could lose, right? He could lose, and that would, after all the talking that he's done, that would really affect his um, position in in boxing. Um, it doesn't look like he was going to fight Haney. It doesn't look like a Garcia fights anywhere. There's anywhere near a Garcia fight. He's fighting his mandatory in Cambosis. Uh, and he's not happy with what he's being paid by Bob Arum. And he's fishing around at other broadcasters. But surely, if you want big money, which that's what it looks like they want, you'd take the Lomachenko rematch because that would be a huge fight. And that would definitely be a huge payday. So why I don't understand is, is why are they reluctant to fight Lomachenko again? It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense that a guy that's, you know, just beating a guy could fight that guy again in a rematch with a, and get a huge payday. This reminded me of the Ame Khan, Danny Garcia situation when, when Garcia knocked Ame Khan out. Ame Khan was pushing for that Garcia fight, but him and his pops just didn't want to fight Khan again. It's kind of like we they thought, well, we knocked him out once, but the guy's got a horrible style. He's got he's very fast. He's very fast. I have hands and feet. If he comes and fights a fight where he's on the move all night, that could be a horrible fight for us. So we'll just stay away from that fight. And I feel like Lomachenko and he, I mean, sorry, I feel like um. Lopez and his father are doing the same. They're thinking, they're looking at Lomachenko and thinking, you know what, we beat him. Um, there's no point of going back there. Let's milk the situation as much as we can. Because we beat this guy we, and we beat him quite well. It wasn't controversial. Although the public would love to see that fight again, we don't need that. We can milk the situation. Fight Cambosis, make what, six, five, six, we look to make five, six million dollars in that fight against Cambosis. Fight some other guys, fight some other, fight the other young guys like Haney and 
those guys that would actually be probably be easier fights than Lomachenko and fights that would pay a lot because there'd be a lot of hype and promotion behind it. But for me, I don't feel that... I won't be surprised if Lopez ever fights Lomachenko again. Because personally, I don't think, I don't think they want that fight again. Um, because when, why, why are you going to give somebody that nobody... Here's the thing. Somebody didn't give... Most boxing fans, a lot of them didn't give Lopez that much of a chance. You know, there were people saying Lopez wins. But there was a lot of people that were saying that Lopez... Most people were saying Lopez loses. You don't want to give... Lomachenko, who's a great fighter, by the way, a chance to beat you. Because if, if that happens, people are going to say, oh, it was a one-off. He managed to get the win. It was luck. You know, people people will say that. So all the, all, everything that you did in that fight against Lomachenko gets wiped. I won't say it gets wiped out, but, you know, you, your, your win over him definitely is diminished because people will say, actually, Lomachenko had a bad night. Uh, and that's why Lopez was able to beat him. Especially if Lomachenko goes in there and schools him in the second fight. Which could happen. Because like I said, Lomachenko is a great fighter. But Lopez, again, is a great, great fighter. But it just seems to me, some of the stuff that Lopez is coming out with, it doesn't make sense about the others like Haney, Garcia. He doesn't seem to... Like Haney's been calling him out. But he doesn't seem to be... It's kind of like, oh, what's, who's Haney for? What's Haney done? You know... Who are those guys fighting? He's fighting up a washed up Gambo, but he wants to fight you. He wants to fight you. So I don't understand Lopez's stance right now. I do feel that although they're trying to play a hard image to the to the fans, I do think that they're looking to milk the situation as much as they can, which I don't blame them because at the end of the day, I will say this, L Lopez is more proven than any other lightweight. Uh, apart from, you know, Loma, who's obviously, you know, did his thing and beat a lot of top names. Um... He's, for me, most proven, he beat Richard Comey, who was a great fighter, and he beat Lomachenko, who was the best in the division. So, Lopez is rightfully the number one guy. R Lopez is rightfully, he's got, out of all the other four kings, kings as they speak, he's got the best resume. Without question, he's got great wins over a prime Lomachenko, over a prime Comey, um, and the Comey win was emphatic. So, you know, I understand where Lopez is coming from, but it just doesn't make sense, his stance, because... He keeps talking about, you know, fighting the best and fighting the top guys. Yeah, he's going to fight his mandatory, which he has to in Cambosis. But then it's also about money for him because he's not happy with what Bob Arum's offered him. So now he's talking about going, going, you know, see, fishing and seeing what's out there with other broadcasters and what they can offer him. But surely you just take the Lomachenko rematch would actually would pay you what you want. And it's a guy that you've beaten already. So that kind of tells me that he's not confident of, of fighting Lomachenko again because he doesn't want to give Loma the opportunity to avenge that loss. Just like Danny Garcia didn't give Amir Khan the opportunity to avenge that loss because I don't think it was a case... Where, I'm not saying Lopez or Garcia were scared by any stretch. They weren't, right? But I just feel that in the back of their mind, they knew that they were the underdog in those fights and maybe in years to come, like the Garcia one in years to come looked like, you know, it wasn't such a huge upset like it was at the time it happened. And maybe Lopez beating Lomachenko in years to come might not be such a big upset like it was. But it does look like both, the, like the Garcia Khan situation and this situation kind of seems kind of similar where a guy, the underdog, has managed to get the win and they don't want to give the other guy, the opportunity of the rematch because they don't want the other guy to avenge that loss because I do feel, I, I did feel along the way that Khan would have beaten Garcia in the rematch. I, I, had a, I, I always felt that. And I feel his dad and Garcia were worried about that. I'm not saying they were scared that they would lose or they, they're fighters. His dad's a trainer, his son's a fighter. But in the back of their mind, that was, for me, that was a reason why they didn't take that, they didn't take that rematch. The same way... Right, I feel Lopez isn't looking to take the rematch with Lomachenko because I believe Lomachenko would win the rematch. Um, that's my that's my take on it, and I don't feel that Lopez and his father would want to give a guy an opportunity that they beat quite convincingly. They beat like I've, I've it was a close fight, but he was the right winner for sure. But it's a fight that the public would love to see again. I'd rather see him against Lomachenko than Cambosis. I get Cambosis is mandatory. But 
He could have fought Devin Haney, which would have been for the... like. I, for me, Lo, again, Lopez is undisputed champion. I don't really buy, you know, Haney's belt and his claim to being a WBC champion. For me, Lopez is undisputed. However, just to... Just to um, remove all doubt, right? He could fight Haney. He could fight Haney and remove all doubt. It would he would get paid a lot of money for that fight for fighting Haney, right? And it's a way bigger fight than Cambosis. And he would get an exception. Most likely, he would get an exception to avoid or to put that mandatory to one side. While he fights Haney, because I'm pretty sure the the sanctioning body would be would love to be involved in an undisputed fight between Haney, because Haney is a WBC champion. After all, he is the you know he is a WBC world champion. Whether we agree with it or not, he is. So that would be a huge fight, right? But instead, he's fighting Cambosis, right? Which, by the way, is not an easy fight. Um, I don't think Cambosis is an easy fight. If that's what Lopez thinks, I think Cambosis is a very hard fight. That's why I don't know why he doesn't fight. He doesn't just fight Haney. Because for me, it would be more money. It's a bigger fight. And then he would remove all doubt on who's the undisputed. And for me, Lopez would be the favorite against Haney. But I, I personally, this is how I see it. I think Lopez is trying to milk the situation. Because really, if I, you know, if you look at it, I think Lopez should be pushing for a Lomachenko rematch or a Haney fight. And I'm pretty sure he would get an exception. For those fights as well. I'm pretty sure the governing body would not strip him of the belt. Right? If if, if he was to push for those fights. I'm pretty sure of it. I don't I, I, I don't know, of course. Maybe, listen, maybe he would get stripped by the... I think it's the IBF. But... If I'm not mistaken, didn't they, didn't they already say... The IBF or whoever it was that, that, that you know, Cambos is a mandatory for. Whatever sanctioning body is a mandatory for. Didn't they already say that they would they would um they would let him fight Haney and he wouldn't get stripped? I'm I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I I personally don't think that, you know, Lope, I don't personally think Lopez wants to fight Lomachenko again. And I, I won't be surprised if he ever fights Lomachenko again. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. And I don't I'm not sure whether the others will either, because Lomachenko, that mystique that he had has gone after losing to Lopez. And nobody's going to want to touch Lomachenko now because they know how dangerous it is. And if one of the other four so-called four kings were to fight him and lose, that would really impact their credibility moving forward. So this is why I'm saying I, I, will, I won't be surprised if Lomachenko becomes an avoided fighter now. Even though I think Lopez should fight him again, the fight was close. Yes, Lopez won the fight, but the fight was close and it was a fight that... For me, would warrant a rematch and would definitely, uh, the fans would be interested in a rematch. But I don't know whether his pops, Lopez's pops and him want that rematch, unfortunately. That's just my take. Um, by the way, I think Lopez is a great fight and Lopez has a great chance of beating Lomachenko in the rematch. It's by no means, I think, I, I personally would favour Loma next time. But by no means, uh, that's a done deal. I think Lopez could beat him. But... I just think right now Lopez is reluctant to fight him because I think he's kind of thinking if after all the talking that I was done, if I was to lose the rematch, that would really impact me moving forward. So I, I don't think I don't think he's going to give Loma the chance. Um, I think Loma would have to get into a mandatory position and corner him. And I don't know whether uh, Lopez would stay at 135 that long. I reckon I won't be so if Loma was um, Loma was to get into a mandatory position for Lopez. I believe Lopez would move up. It's my honest opinion. He's already talking about fighting the winner of Taylor Ramirez. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know whether Lopez will fight any of the other lightweights. If I'm honest with you, but that's just my take. I, um, I think he might move up. I think he'll wait for the Taylor Ramirez fight and then he'll probably move up. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Let me know. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, and I'll get back to you. Leave your thoughts. Make sure to join my Facebook boxing group. Make sure to follow my Instagram page. Make sure to follow my Twitter. Um, make sure to follow all my social media platforms, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.